Hello. I am happy to have this opportunity to express my gratitude to Maryland's veterans for your service in the United States Armed Forces. History teaches us that our nation's security doesn't just happen. It demands effort, sacrifice, courage, and commitment as evidenced by the generations of men and women who have underwritten our freedom by duty and honor. This Veterans Day, we pause to recognize Maryland's veterans for your selfless service and to thank you for securing the liberties we often take for granted. As an Army veteran, I'm extremely grateful to have this opportunity to serve as the Acting Director of the VA Maryland Healthcare System in leading the charge to make sure that our veteran patients receive safe, quality, and compassionate care each and every day. I thank you for allowing us to serve your healthcare needs, and I wish each of you a very happy Veterans Day. It is now my honor and privilege to welcome several of our elected officials and veteran advocates to show their appreciation for your service this Veterans Day. Thank you. We can never do enough to raise awareness of the brave service and sacrifice our United States veterans and families have made for Maryland and for our nation. Our state is proud to be home to more than 400,000 veterans. And on this Veterans Day, we honor all those who served, including those who are receiving care from the VA Maryland healthcare system. These heroes serve as a reminder every single day of the immeasurable cost of war and the immense price of freedom. So on this Veterans Day, I ask all Marylanders to set aside time to honor our veterans and their families. Raise the flag from your porch, ask a local hero about the story of their service, or simply just say thank you. May God bless all our veterans and their families, and may God continue to bless the great state of Maryland and the United States of America. Hi, I'm Chris Van Hollen, and I'm proud to represent our great state of Maryland in the United States Senate but I'm especially proud of our Maryland veterans for serving our country. And today on Veterans Day, we pay special tribute to you. But really, we need to be saying thank you every day, and not just in words, but also in deeds. And that's why it's essential that we keep our commitments and promises to American veterans, including providing top-notch health care. You were there for us. We need to be there for you. Thank you for your service. Hello, this is Congressman John Sarbanes. As we observe Veterans Day, I want to salute and thank our veterans and their families for their tremendous service and sacrifice on behalf of our country. Every day I have the opportunity in Congress to try to do the right thing by our veterans with health care and education and job opportunities, and I'll continue that fight. But I also know there's ways we can help you right here in our district, right here in Maryland. So if you have challenges relating to benefits or other services that you need, by all means, reach out to my office at 410-832-8890, and we'll do all we can to help you. Again, on this Veterans Day, Thank you for your service to our country. Hi, this is Congressman Andy Harris. As a Navy veteran, I want to thank you for your service to the nation on this Veterans Day. Your sacrifice, like that of the millions who came before and after you, has allowed our country to prosper and has protected our most cherished of rights. The nation owes you a debt of gratitude that cannot be repaid. But in Congress, I remain committed to ensuring veterans have access to quality health care whether that be within the VA system or outside the system, if that's closer and more convenient for you. Thank you again, and I wish you all the best. Hi, I'm Congressman Anthony Brown. I wanted to extend a happy Veterans Day to all of those who have served our nation in uniform. As a fellow veteran, I know that we are united by our love of country and service to our fellow Americans. Whether on the shores of Normandy, in Korea, Vietnam, or today in Iraq and Afghanistan, our common creed continues to bind us together. This country makes a sacred promise to our veterans. When men and women put on the uniform and take the oath to protect and defend our country, we pledge to you to take care of you and your families when you come home. 
Our country owes each and every one of you a debt of gratitude for your sacrifices. And I'm fighting every day to ensure that you and your family get the support you deserve. From one veteran to another, happy Veterans Day. Hi, it's Maryland Congressman Jamie Raskin from the 8th District. Just here to send my love and appreciation and gratitude to all of the veterans in Maryland, especially the ones that are hospitalized or are receiving their care from the VA Maryland healthcare system. Uh, those in Baltimore at Lock Raven and at the Perry Point VA Medical Center. Um, I want to just express profound appreciation and gratitude to you for your service to America, for your selfless uh, devotion to our country, to our constitution, to the rule of law, to democracy. You exemplify what honor means, you exemplify what decency means, you exemplify what service means. So thank you. And uh, I, on behalf of my constituents, I want to send you uh, a very big thank you for Veterans Day. I'm Congressman Kwaisi Ufume here to say happy Veterans Day to the brave men and women of the military covering all branches of the United States Armed Forces. You are the embodiment of everything that makes this country great. You courageously accepted the call to service and you accepted all the risks that were associated with it so that your fellow countrymen and women would not have to. It is my great honor to pay tribute to everyone who has served and continues to serve until today. It is also my honor to give a special salute to our warriors who are currently hospitalized and receiving special care from the VA Maryland healthcare system. You are indeed in good hands. We are grateful for all of you who have done so much to protect our democracy from the threat of tyranny and terror. And because of you, Marylanders and citizens throughout the United States can sleep and do sleep peacefully at night knowing that you have sacrificed so much. And so we celebrate you and we will continue to honor your service and your sacrifice today and every day. May God bless and sustain all of you. And thank you so very, very much. Veterans Day appropriately honors the service and sacrifice made by you and your fellow service members. In October 1954, President Dwight Eisenhower signed Veterans Day proclamations, changing Armistice Day to Veterans Day to ensure widespread observance of the anniversary for all veterans. Today, I'd like to extend my recognition and gratitude to all veterans and locally to veterans receiving care at the Baltimore, Perry Point, and Lock Raven VA Medical Centers. We're honored to serve you. Happy Veterans Day. Welcome to Veterans Day 2020. Unlike any of us have ever seen before, but it still brings with it the full debt of gratitude for those who have ever put on a uniform and served this country, and to the families who allow those loved ones to go serve. I want to thank you for the service you've provided, and in many cases, continue to provide. Thank you again, and remember, this year, mask up when you go out. Every day is Veterans Day at the VA Maryland Healthcare System. Every day is an opportunity to say, thank you for your service. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your courage. Thank you for protecting our freedom. Thank you for allowing us to serve you. To all the men and women who have served in our nation's armed forces, we say thank you and happy Veterans Day.